Welcome back, everyone, to Wellstopia. We're at the back of my lighthouse, where it is now getting into night, and my lighthouse is turned on. And we'll take a little rest, and it should turn off. Now, I have made some adjustments to my lighthouse, similar to what I showed in my little tutorial videos that I posted up recently where I had taken this to use a dropper and a hopper instead of using two inside hoppers as I was using earlier and the advantage of this is that I'll no longer be hitching when I go on through there so it's improved design and I got that little improvement from Zoomavoid and because of the new design, instead of having the light detector up there, it is now down here and I'm going up there. Now in my tutorial, I had put the hopper on that end, but I put it on this end so that the stairs would be all nice and free. But today is not about the little lamp on the lighthouse. It is on getting a few things over at Oakland. So let's head over there. Another little change since the last episode are these lamps that I put on there. They are navigation lamps. The idea is that when on the right side I am going upstream and when they're on the left side I'm going downstream. The plan there is hopefully I won't get confused as to whether I'm supposed to be heading upstream or downstream. I'm hoping it will make navigation a little bit easier. But now I see that perhaps I should have used something else for navigation, at least for the daytime, to make it a little bit more obvious because those glowstones, they don't stand out very much in the daytime. So I'm probably going to need something to make them a little bit more obvious at the daytime. But here we are at Oakland. So let's stop over in here. There we go. Now one little change that I did over here is that I placed a hole above the water on the fishing farm. I forgot to turn that off. I put a little hole above the fishing farm and that way we will be able to get the bonus for being out in the open because it's very hard to fish while you're covered by a roof or anything like that. Now, the thing I want to do today though here was to change the door. I'm going to go to an iron door here. So let's chop that down and replace this with an iron door and with an iron door that means I am going to need a button alright good button and you say why do I need a button and what am I going to be doing with these? First of all, or why do I need an iron door? I am going to be using one of these iron doors later on when 1.11 comes out and we update to it because I'm going to need one for the fishing farm itself. But the other reason is because I'm going to try to build an iron farm. And to build an iron farm, I'm going to need villagers. And I'm going to need villagers and the wooden doors be in certain areas and I figure a wooden door here would be in the way and where do I get villagers of course back to Sprucelvania here I am back in Sprucelvania and the idea here is to take the most useless villagers that I have and transfer them over into Oakland oh you're kidding me uh, 
<laughs> we got three of them in there? You doing okay? Yeah, 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 that, that, that's a village trade. That's an 18. That, that's my fisherman. What are you doing down there? How did you get down there? Well, I am going to have to do something about that at some point. This isn't exactly what I call a good solution, but perhaps I could use these boats as traps, set a proper stall for villagers around there, and be able to work with that. But right now, though, they like to go in here in pairs, and that's not going to work at all. What are these? Butcher. Mm, that's a decent butcher for pork. And this is, yeah, and this is my chicken butcher. And now pork butcher. So therefore, I got a pair of butchers here. I do want to keep that one. This is my... All right. Oh, fire protection. Oh, this is my feather falling librarian. Not not a very good cleric. So, let's see. This is the cleric with a great trade there, but a very very bad glowstone trade. And that's the butcher there. So. I have to encourage these to break up because I don't think I can go into here, right? Yeah, because I can go into here, right? Without any trouble. But I can't go there. Right. I have to think on that. Meanwhile, I'll have to go and get some sleep. While those guys try to sort themselves out, I'm going to see if I can find a path to the river. It has to be all the way downhill because I'm working with boats. The idea is take this path. I'll probably have to cut a few places in order to ensure a downhill channel all the way. And here is the river right over here. Egad. That's a strange little area. I wonder if that is spawnable anywhere. Yeah, I better light this place up because yeah, this place looks like it's a potential haven for nasty spawns. All right, there we go. Oh, you mean go there, we'll do it that way. Good. So the idea then is to lead down into the river. And we have a It's a much shorter jaunt than I was expecting. I didn't expect to emerge right nearly on top of my Oakland area. Hmm. I thought I was far enough away from the village not to have any potential troubles, but I have my doubts on that. So I'm going to take a few measurements and then see what I'm going to do about getting that downhill slope. This is 107 blocks from the nearest point in the village. So, it's definitely not a good place to be at night then. But what I'm wondering is how close is the fishing farm? Because I'll be spending extensive points at night inside the fishing farm. Good news, I am easily more than 128 blocks from the village when I'm inside the AFK area. That's good. So the only question that's left is if there is any way for mobs to get to villagers if you are that far away the the good news is a cleric 
decided to come here. The bad news, at least from the point of view of transporting, is that this one has a three glowstone trait. So obviously, not a cleric I want to get rid of. Looks like all my best villagers are coming in here, which actually isn't all... What is going on? <laughs> what are you doing down there? Oh, it's a new cleric. Oh, is it a baby cleric that grew up suddenly or something? Or what? Let's see, 36. Ooh. Well, I'm going to have to trade with that one to see if it has a good glowstone. Movie. Because if it does, then I can take... Oh. Then I can take this one over. Yes. This is getting tricky. Maybe I should just drop a boat. So do I have any boats in here? Yeah. I've got a boat in there. Drop a boat and see if I could trick somebody I want to get rid of into taking a ride with me. First, I've got to find out who is... Where? Let's see. 39. Oh. I haven't had a chance to trade that with that one yet either. I'm going to need a great deal of zombie flesh in order to resume that one. So I'm going to have to go and take a little session at my zombie spawner and get some flesh. How about this guy? Toolsmith. 17. Unbreaking 1. Efficiency 2. Well... I think you just got elected. Hey! Come in! Hey! 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 In here! <sighs> Villagers. Hey! Hey! Here! Over here! Over here! Over here! I'll see if I can lure him. Well, I think about it. I think it's time to lift the little ban on travel that I've had for villagers. I've been trying to do everything I can to keep them from getting to Pinesmith. That was mainly because I was afraid of my village getting wiped out, but I don't think that's a fear at the moment. And so I'm going to give them a little bit more freedom and maybe I'll have a little easier time in catching one or two around here because... Night, night. Night. Hello, volunteer. Now, let's see. I'll just pick that up. And join you in here. And we are going to go out for a little ride. Excuse me. I'm going to find out whether or not this really works. <laughs> oh, oops. Oops, 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 oops. Boy, this is slow. And it's a good thing I started this little jaunt early in the day. Because if it takes all day, well, it'll be... Yeah, if it takes all day, then I won't have to worry about it turning night and being midnight and all that stuff when I finish up. All right, here we go. And... I don't, is this really the channel that brought out the well? Boom, boom, oops. All right, oh, it's a lot faster once I hit water. Okay, now, of course, I'm going to have to find a place for this villager to live. Actually, I better land here for now since this is less likely to be a, a patient point for zombies. All right, you can stay there for a moment. Right, so now I'm going to need a little villager house. A safe place for them. Something with doors, of course. Wooden doors. And a fence. And doors. Oh, okay, doors, fence, and of course, 
other stuff to keep them safe. So let me make something. It is not going to be anything that's going someone's going to consider to be a, a work of Minecraft art. Not that I generally make anything that falls into that category anyway. But at least I'm hoping it will keep them safe. I was hoping to do all this under clear skies, but it has been raining for three days now, so I guess I'm going to have to bring them there right now. I created a small little house down there. It's nothing really to speak of, just ugly enough to ensure that I'm encouraged to get rid of it at my earliest opportunity. Right, now, I just need to figure out a way to convince this guy to get out of the boat and head for the house. Now, this is the only house I know of for a good distance here, so maybe we'll head that way when it turns night. Hey, the house with the wooden door. Huh. See, see. Huh. You worship a water god, right? Huh. <sighs> Villagers. Looks like he's considering huh. this as a place to go to. See, it has three doors for you, right? Three doors, one villager. Huh. And that's the way it works? Okay, okay, that that's... Not exactly the... Brightest architecture in the world, but... It helped me keep track of where the doors were. Well, okay, I guess going under a tree is sensible in the rain, but... Wouldn't a house be better? Look, 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 doors, doors, for you! Just for you! Well, and whoever I'll bring in afterwards. I think he just wants to check out the place first. To size it up. Determine if it's a good home. Huh. See? Flowers. Nice flowers. Some wool. Okay, okay. You're not a weaver. Huh. Or I guess a shepherd would be more appropriate in Minecraft, since I don't think there are any weavers at the moment. Well, do you like it? It doesn't have to be pretty. The sun is setting and the weather is clear now, so I'm hoping our friend here will decide it's time to go indoors. I think they like to go indoors during the nighttime. And if he does so, yay! Well, inside, as a house. Read upon the rules for villagers. Huh. Or I hope I read the right rules. All right. y y you're jumping forward, then going back, jumping forward, going back. You're, you're trying huh. to decide whether or not you're setting or not. Ah. Uh. You're teasing me. That's what you're doing. <laughs> you are teasing huh. me. Thank you. Good. <laughs> Good night. <laughs> Have a nice time. <laughs> Good. That's done. Now that we have one villager, we only need to repeat it for another one. And, of Aww. course, find a proper breeding area. And... Iron Golem spawner platform, villager station area. All that fun stuff you need in order to make an Iron Golem farm. But... I certainly don't have time for that today. So between episodes, I will try to bring up the population up here a little bit. And also make sure I have a good selection as to an iron golem farm and exactly where to put it. And whatever I come up with, we'll see in the next episode of Piney Plays Minecraft Wellstopia.